Preparing two bodies for any photographer on any photo shoot is absolutely essential. It means it makes it easier to switch out lenses. It makes it so that you don't get any dust in your sensor and protects your sensor. And there's a whole other slew of benefits. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about specifically why landscape photographers should carry two camera bodies. What's up y'all, it's a Project Photography back into the video and today people, today we're going to be talking about why all landscape photographers should be carrying two camera bodies on them at all times. Now I know this sounds a little bit contradictory because uh, in my past videos I've always stressed weight. Weight is the number one most important thing uh, for landscape photographers when choosing out camera gear when going on long hikes. And if you're adding on another camera body, that's just more weight, right? But with the advent of mirrorless, this makes it so much easier to be able to carry two camera bodies on you at all times because mirrorless cameras are around 50% lighter than your traditional SLRs, which makes it so much easier to actually carry around your gear and whatnot. Even though weight is a big stressor and one thing that I think is very important for a lot of people, uh, I think it is much easier now with mirrorless being able to shoot with two camera bodies. So when I actually go out and shoot landscape photography, I always carry two lenses. I always carry on a 14 to 30 as well as a 70 to 300. So essentially a wide angle lens and a telephoto lens. And this is really important because when you're out and shooting landscape photography, you want to use your wide angle to capture the entire scene. And then with your telephoto, you want to be able to isolate certain subject matter in the actual uh, landscape. So that's why you carry around uh, a both a 14 to 30 as well as a 70 to 300 a telephoto lens. Now just shooting around with two camera bodies is so much easier, you know. Uh, I, there's four main reasons as to why I think every landscape photographer should uh, carry two camera bodies on them at all times. So let's jump right into the first one. The first one is it is faster to change out lenses. So traditionally speaking, when you have multiple lenses in your bag uh, and you have a camera on you, just one, uh, you most of the time have to actually take off a lens and then put another lens on. And it's kind of time consuming, not gonna lie. It takes up a lot of time. And that's time that you'd be using to shoot. And for landscape photographers, even though it's more of a slow pacing, if you're in the middle of blue hour or something, the light changes by minute. So you wanna make sure that you have the tools available to you at the right time and making sure that you know you don't have to be changing out lenses and worrying about all that kind of stuff. So if you're carrying around a wide angle and a telephoto, you know, it's easier to just change it out and just switch out the cameras rather than having to actually change out the lenses much faster, much quicker. So that's my first reason as to why the landscape photographer should be carrying around two camera bodies. The second one is that it protects your sensor from dust. Now, I don't know about you guys, but dust is extremely annoying. I hate seeing dust in my photos. And dust is mainly prevalent when you're stopping down your aperture to like f8, f11, which is what all landscape photographers pretty much shoot at when they shoot landscape photography. When you're out in these conditions, you're shooting in places like beaches and the mountains, a place with lots of snow, dust, water, of all that kind of stuff. And getting dust on your sensor is really annoying. It's not hard to take out in Lightroom, but it's definitely a hassle and you don't wanna to have to deal with it. If you have two lenses on you with two camera bodies, you know, it makes it so that you don't have to actually change out the lenses. You just switch out the cameras and no dust should get into the sensor because you're not actually taking off any lenses. It just mainly protects your sensor from all those different types of things. For DSLR users, of course, you know, they have the mirror with the actual camera, so it protects it from the dust and all that. But I've had DSLRs that have a ton, tons of uh, dust on it. So I would still recommend having two uh, camera bodies on you, even if you're shooting SLRs, even though it's gonna be a little bit heavier, you still wanna be able to protect your sensors from all those conditions. So the third reason is that if you're on a trip and you only have one camera and you break it somehow, you have a backup camera if you carry two bodies on you. I took a trip back to Hawaii in 2017 and my D600 had a bunch of dust on it on the sensor and it was borderline unusable. At the time, I was shooting with a Canon camera because I want to use it for vlogging. But if I didn't have that backup camera for uh, secondary photos, then I would not have anything to go to. And it would essentially ruin the entire trip because I couldn't shoot with anything else. And I was really glad to be able to have a backup camera in that scenario. If you have a backup camera and you go on these trips and you pay lots of money for these trips to go on them, Having a backup camera is really, really essential because, you know, if one of them breaks, you just have another one to be able to shoot with. So that is the third reason. The fourth and last reason is when you have one camera on the tripod, let's just say for me, I have my wide angle always on the tripod. 
and you see something else you want to shoot but you're using the camera for a time lapse or maybe a really really long exposure like i've had exposures go for like 600 seconds something like that you want to be able to use the other camera to actually shoot um, things with telephoto because if one camera's on the tripod you don't want to be disturbing it but you want to be able to use your time uh, while it's shooting to be able to actually do other stuff and like shoot other things so while you have one camera on the tripod you can have the other camera to be actually be able to go out and shoot other things so yeah those are my four reasons why i think all landscape photographers should carry two camera bodies on different photo shoots it's being able to change out your lenses faster protect your sensor if you're on a trip one camera breaks you have a backup and while one camera is being used on a tripod you can use the other one to shoot more photos so uh, for me i always 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 carry two cameras on me you know the secondary body for me it's just a nikon z50 and here's the thing it doesn't have to be the most high end it doesn't have to be the exact same it just needs to be used for telephoto something decent and i use a full frame z6 with a 14 to 30 and an aps-c uh, z50 so i see no problem being able to mix match those type of things as long as the color science is relatively the same you can edit pretty much the same across the board. So make sure you guys, as landscape photographers, have two camera bodies on you at all times when you're shooting landscape photography. It's really important and it'll save you a lot of time and protect your cameras and all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your landscape photography setup is with your uh, cameras and lenses and all that good stuff. I really wanna know down in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, that's it for me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.